Hey drivers, how are you doing? My name is Anthony Alfredo. I'm 19 years old. I compete in the NASCAR k and Pro Series East, and I'm also part of the 2018 NASCAR Next class. So I wanted to kind of share with you guys some importance of the things you need to be doing, not only on the, on the racetrack, but also off, to just help better yourself and obviously help you climb the ranks like we all want to do and make it to the top. I'll start off with the basics, which would be obviously always working your hardest on the racetrack. And I think a few things to remember while you're on the racetrack that a lot of us sometimes forget is to obviously not take for granted the opportunity we have to do what we love for a living and race every lap like it's our last in order to work the hardest and race every race like it's our last, not just every lap, but put our best foot forward and and race each other like we want to be raced and put it all on the line to to win every race because the unfortunate part of this sport is uh you know there can come a point where everything can go away really quickly and you may not have the opportunity to keep racing or anything like that so you obviously we don't want to think about that but that's just the incentive to continue to work your hardest on the track and you all need to be taking notes and watching film and practicing if you could play eye racing that's great or um, even just watching film itself is really helpful and watching yourself race is beneficial as well if you have a GoPro or something you put on your helmet or in the car um, that'll help a lot so you could go back and see what you need to fine-tune as a driver and obviously you need to be training off the track with working out or just doing a little bit of cardio and exercise and as you climb the ranks and and uh get a little bit older, you know, you can increase what you're doing and uh, you'll have to as far as being more competitive on the competitive side of things. But those are pretty much just the basics, you know, obviously little things, spending time in the race shop or, or in the garage working on the car, learning more about it, whether it's from your parents or your team, whoever's working on the car. And the more important things now I'd like to touch on are your brand awareness, how we all need to increase that and represent yourself well so you really want to be careful about um you know what you post on your social media you want to show who you are and maybe share some parts of your, the ins inside looks at your life and such but you don't want to make yourself look bad in any way you know you got to be it's it's fun to share your opinion and all and sometimes you really want to but there are times where there's a time and a place for that and you sometimes just need to hold back your thoughts and that goes for not just on track incidences, but you know anything else you may want to uh, talk about. I mean, we've all had those moments on the racetrack where people, you know, hate and stuff, but don't try to argue with them because you'll never win, especially online over social media or something. And uh, just you know, ignore them, whatever. Use that as motivation to go win more races. So just ignore them and don't egg them on or or enable them in any way. So another thing is you should be consistent with how much you're posting and focus on growing your channels. And we all want a lot of followers and to get a lot of likes on our posts, but the only way to do that is to be consistent and get your name out there or commenting on other posts and, and all that. So that's very important. And we should all be learning from each other or uh, people who are doing it really well. There are a few people who do that in the NASCAR Cup Series and Formula One and IndyCar. And you can learn from them and the way they represent themselves. So obviously you want to represent yourself well because we're all trying to get sponsors or partners to help us climb the ranks. And in order to do that, you got to be likable. So I highly encourage you being authentic and being yourself because, you know, you're unique. No one's, no one's the same as each other. Everyone's, everyone's different than each other. So you want to show who you are because you can't fake who you are or be someone you're not. First of all, I don't think that's very fun. And second of all, people aren't going to be attracted to that because it's going to be hard to, you know, hide who you really are. You know, you want, you want to represent yourself for who you are. Um, and as I mentioned before, be a little bit careful at times because sometimes we, um, you, you know, if you're opinionated or want to, or you want to share your part on a, on a occurring topic, sometimes it's best to hold back. But I think you also need to show who you are and obviously represent yourself well because that's 
what's going to make people like you and want to invest in you, whether it's a partner or just a fan, you know, because your following is not going to grow if you don't have any fans. Uh, obviously, the, the important thing is getting partners so that we can continue climbing the ranks and further our racing career. But you got you got to have the fans to like you, too, because a partner is not going to want to um, have you rep represent them or their brand if no one really likes you or uh, maybe you're not someone who's not likable but you just don't have a following that intrigues the part the potential sponsor or partner because you know nobody's really you haven't done anything that everyone likes or you know when someone dms you uh direct messages you on your social media respond always be polite um sometimes there's if there's any hate, just ignore that. But I'm saying if someone says something nice or asks for a hero card, tell them how they can get one or tell them you appreciate their support and stuff like that. So those are some of the, the basics and the more important things. And obviously the off-track things are just as important as the on-track things. So you just need to focus on that. And I think that's the best way for you to advance and, and increase your brand awareness and represent yourself well. I also want to add that it's it's really tough to make it as a race car driver and we all know that so you got to keep faith and continue to work hard and if it's what you really want to do then then never give up and get as far as you can with it continue to work your hardest every single time you're on the racetrack and in those scenarios things usually seem to come full circle so just just try to think of th how things are going to go in the long run and remain hopeful and just, like I said, always work your hardest. Um, a big part of racing is obviously the sacrifice you have to make. It's time consuming. You may not have as much time to spend time with family or when you're young, um, you kind of may not have as much of a social life besides being at the racetrack as some of the other kids do in school. And that's just a part of it. So you got to remember that if it's really what you want to do, then you got to be willing to sacrifice some of those things like spending time with friends or or even sometimes family. So you're going to have to keep that in mind. And like I said, if you don't really want it, then it's unfortunately, you know, it's not for you. You can, you know, do a little bit of racing maybe for fun, but to make a career out of it, you're going to have to be willing to sacrifice those things. And if you, if you do really want it, you shouldn't have a problem doing that. So that's just an important thing to remember as well. So I hope you guys learned something from this. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to let Rod know him. He'll pass them through me. I'll get back to you or, or just hopefully he'll probably give you my email or something. You can go straight to me. So I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you all progressing your careers.